Carpe Seuss when hunting down in Bosque County, Texas. Spy three hogs in the oats field. It was a beautiful evening. The wind should have been blowing left to right, but we're actually blowing right to left. And so I needed to make an approach around to get downwind of these hogs. And so for the next 25 minutes or so, I spent my time trying to outmaneuver these hogs as they move through the field eating. At this point, I still only have three hogs that I've identified that I'm trying to get around. Now what was really neat is that a train passed by and I used the train to actually make a large move to get closer to the hogs. The train had passed by and now I can see other hogs coming in at the far end of the field. But in the meantime, my target hogs have gotten by me and are now almost downwind of me. And they're not in a safe direction to shoot as you can see there's structures across the road. So I need to circle around behind them again. And now I've moved around somewhat further back and my target hogs are actually moving back towards the sounder. Finally I've moved into position here. I'm going to line up on this hog. When the second hog comes into view and I decide for a double. He doesn't know what hit him. He takes off running. I drop him with that shot, and I think I've got two hogs on the ground. And here comes my first hog again, bouncing around. Looks like he's down, finally. I line up on this hog, and he moves. He stops again, and I drop him. The other hogs take off, and I think my hunt is over. And then, the first hog is up again, falls over, okay now I think he's down, Whoop, he's moving, and it looks like he fell down again, oh no he's up again, so this time the shot goes into the head. And I see hogs that I thought had run off coming back into the field. So I move around to get an angle on them. They're right at the tree line here. I line up on this one. I hit her. She takes off running. She doesn't get very far before she slows down. She collapses right there as I shoot the other hog that takes off into the woods. And that was the end of the hunt. So I had a little over a half hour hunt with my shot spanning about seven minutes of time. This was the first hog that I shot, a 220 pound boar. The first shot actually entered in under the right ear and then the final shot was between the ear and the eye. When I found him, he was unresponsive to eye stimulation but he was still breathing so I double tapped him to the chest and that put an end to his breathing. However, what makes this story really interesting is what happened to the first shot that actually passed behind the head and exited out the opposite side of the neck and slammed into the larger boar. He came in at a whopping 300 pounds. Let's watch the action again, as here I think I'm about to get a double. So the smaller boar goes down and the big boar has obviously been hit and he takes off running. So here's what happened. He was actually fragged by three pieces, one in the ear, one in the side of the cheek, and one in the neck where I actually found a piece of brass jacket in the hair. This big boy was actually killed by a single shot that entered the shoulder here and proceeded forward and into the back of the head here. The last hog recovered was the second to last hog shot. She was a 140 pound sow that was shot through the right shoulder with a quartered toward shot. The bullet remained inside the body. She ran about 35 yards before expiring. Optics provided by Third Coast Thermal. While finishing up editing the video I heard from the landowner, he recovered a total of six hogs from the field. That would include the five that I have on video, plus a sixth hog that was not recorded. The three additional hogs he said weighed all about 200 pounds apiece. Carpe sus, my friends.